Hello everyone. Myself, I am Uma, and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we will learn about summarize and summarize column functions. So I'll I have loaded one data that is bikes data. So I'll just give walk through on this data. Here we have this region. Across different region, different country, uh, the different customers across the business segment and category. What are the models of the bikes, the colors and the sales made? Also the list price, unit price, the order quantity. Uh, using these columns, created the calculated column sales and cost. Okay, so this is our data set. Now the requirement is to create one new table that is a subset of this main table. One subset table which will only hold the information across different countries. What is the total sales and total profit? Okay, so we have many countries here. The for each country you have multiple records in this, right? But in the sub table, whatever we are going to create, we should have only group by country, and for that we need sales and profit. For that, first I will try to create two measures for my sales and profit. So I'll just go to this table. I'll create a new measure. Total sales. Sum of. Sales column. OK, so this will give me my total sales as well as I'll try to take the total profit as well. So new measure. Total profit. Again, we can use the sum function which will aggregate the profit value. So I'm trying to. Create that, but I don't have profit column. If you see here, I only have. Sales value as well as. Cost column, these two columns I have, but I don't have the. Total profit for calculating this total profit. I can also use some X function instead of some function because direct column I am not having right. So I'll go with some X function here. I will try to give the table name that is bikes is my table name and now I will try to give the expression. How will you get this profit? It is. Sales. Minus cost, right? So I can also give. The sales column. Minus. Cost column. OK, here I'm trying to give the expression. For the total sales, I directly used to sum function sum of cost column I have given, but for profit directly profit column, I don't have to calculate the total profit. That is why I'm using some X function, some X function where I can give the expression. The expression will be sales minus cost and here I'm giving the table name. So what it will do for every row, it will. Iterate it will iterate through every single row and then it will calculate the profit and the overall profit. Now it will aggregate. That is why here we are using some X. OK, so I'll just give one enter. So our total profit is also calculated. Now we will try to create our sub table to create that table. Just go with new table. OK, so. Summarize table I'm trying to create. The function which I'm going to use now is summarize function here also in the syntax. It is asking me few parameters to create that summarize table sub table. So group by what we have to do. Country wise, we want a total sales and profit. So I'll take here first the table name I need to take. So our table name is bikes and then group by which column we are grouping country column. So I'm taking the country column after that. What is that name we are trying to give and what expression we want to show that is. Total sales for total sales already I have created one measure, so I'll use that measure here. Here. And along with that, I also want to show total profit as well in my sub table. So I'm writing here total profit. And here I'll give. Total profit. OK, this is the measure which I have created. 
the total sales measure I have created using some function, whereas the total profit measure I have created using some X function. OK, so I have given the expression as well. Now I will try to close this. I repeat the syntax for the summarized table, the table name we need to provide group by which column that column we need to provide and then the aggregated value, the total sales and total profit. What is the name you want to show in the sub table? That is the name I'm giving. Then that aggregation expression I'm giving the total sales as well as the total profit I'm giving. And here I'm giving this and now I'll click on enter. Now if you see there is a new table created, summarized table. This is the name of the table which I have given. The table is created. Now let's quickly check what is there in this table. If you see in this table, you are having this. Each country wise, what is the total sales and what is the total profit? OK, so you can create a sub table like this when you want to refer any key values directly without even creating a visual. Right. If you want to create a visual from the main table, what you should have done, you should have taken one table. And then you have to drag and drop the country column. And then again, you need to uh, drag and drop the total sales and total profit, right? This is the steps you should have performed. Instead of performing all these steps and see in the visual directly, if you want to use a table separately, sub table, you can create like this. Okay, so this is the use of your summarize function. Now, we will also try to learn about what exactly is this summarize column function. There is one more function. OK, now the same scenario country wise sales I have seen, right? Country wise the total sales and total profit. It's for all the. Colors, OK, all the in the data set, if you see it, it is across different business segments. It is across different colors. Now specifically in every country, I want to see the total sales and total profit only for the. Black color ones, the color should be black. OK, specific color I am looking for. For the specific color I am looking for, I can go and use. This function called summarize column function. OK, I mean in the column again, you want to apply some filter. Then you can go with the summarize column. OK. Now. In the business segment also, if you see there are multiple uh, right accessories, bikes, clothing and components multiple you are seeing. So within the country across each country only for the bikes business segment bikes and only for the color. I want black color means black color bikes instead of all this bikes, clothing, components, accessories. I don't want everything. I want a sub to a sub table which will have only black color in this color. Also only black I am taking black color in the business segment bikes, black color bikes across each country. What is the total sales and total profit to achieve that? Now I'm going to create a new table that is using summarize column. OK, now I'm writing here. Summarize column equal to function name direct function we have called summarize columns. So I'm taking this and here the parameters you need to pass is the column group by which column we, we are trying to provide group by country column. So I'm trying to take the table name bikes bikes is our main table, right? So I'm taking bikes table country column and. What are the filters you wanted to apply? Segment equal to bikes as well as the color equal to black, right? So for that I am trying to use one more function now called filter function. OK, so if you want to filter some expression in a table, you can use the filter function. So in this filter function, I'm trying to give table name that is my bikes. In this, what are the filters I'm trying to do? Segment, right? The business segment should be. Bikes. This is my 
expression and I will try to give one more expression or uh, that is I can give bikes and colors. So colors also we will see in one more scenario for now. I'll just give one expression that is filter the table name bikes uh, bikes business segment equal to bikes. OK, this is the table name here are the bikes which I'm trying to give is the business segment. OK. So in the business segment, multiple are there accessories, clothing, everything is there, but I'm just filtering with this one. OK, this is the filter function I'm trying to use for the specific column based on what I'm trying to filter. I'm using this filter function. And now after this, I again want to show the total sales and total profit. OK. So I will try to give. I can give multiple filters actually, so I'm restricting here only to business segment bikes total sales. I'm trying to take here and for the total sales, I'll give the measure. Total sales. And now again, I'm taking. Total profit for this also, I'm taking this. Profit measure. OK, so I'm now I'm trying to close this. I repeat what I'm trying to do now directly in the sub table. I am taking country wise. I want total sales and total profit, but in that extra is I only wanted bikes. Bikes OK, but in the business segment everything will come, but I'm again filtering on a specific column called business segment in which I'm trying to take only bikes. That is why I'm using summarize column here and to filter that the, this is the group by column name and the filter in the filter. I'm taking the table in the table. What I'm trying to filter business segment in that business segment. What values I'm trying to filter only bikes. So I'm using the filter function here and then I'm giving the total sales and the total sales expression means the measure which I have already created for the total sales and total profit I'm giving here and I'm already using the measure which I have already created for the total profit and just this summarize column open brackets and closed brackets I'm closing it and I'll click on enter. Now if you see summarize column also is returning one more table. If you go to the table and see the data. Here you, you can see only across each country the total sales and total profit for the business segment bikes alone. Similarly, you can apply for the color. Color black OK the same way you can apply for that as well. So this is about your summarize table and summarize column. OK, so we'll come back with few more functions in the next video. Thanks for watching this and for more informative videos, please do like share and subscribe to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. Thank you.